uh, and what, what OPTIR is, is, is what, what we consider a pump probe optical spectroscopy technique, where the pump uh, is the infrared laser, uh, typically a QCL, but it can also be an OPO, and the probe is a short wavelength laser, typically a 532 visible, or it could be a 785 near infrared laser as well. And with OPTIR, we're generating submicron infrared spectral, uh, spatial resolution rather. Uh, it's in fact very much Raman-like, uh, but it's full of the richness of, of the infrared part of the spectrum. Uh, the spectrum that we collect, and we typically work in reflection mode, although we can work in transmission, but reflection is, is the primary mode. And even when you're in reflection, the spectra that are generated are very much uh, FTIR transmission-like. So there are no distortions, no artifacts, no interference fingers that you might get uh, in, in a regular type of instrument. And it's non-contact, that, that minimizes sample prep. Uh, and also the spatial resolution is infrared wavelength independent. Again, that's very much like a Raman system. Uh, so it all starts with the uh, microscope objective. It's a reflective Cassegrain style. Uh, through that, we shine a pulsed infrared laser beam and being infrared, it's fairly broad, maybe around 10 microns. At the same time, we're shining in our probe beam, the green, that's about 500 nanometers. The infrared generates thermal expansion as it's, as it's expanding, and that thermal expansion changes the way the green light is reflected or scattered back. Right? So as we're tuning our infrared laser from one wavelength to the other, we monitor the intensity of the green light reflected back. And it's from that that we calculate out what is essentially a pure infrared spectrum collected in reflection mode. 